Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're going to be uh, tying uh, a new fly. Well, I mean, it's not too new. It's the red tag. As you guys can see in that photo, um, the red tag, you know, it's that would be the dry fly. Today we're tying it a little bit different. It's a variation that, you know, I mean, you can find on the internet, a bead head. Um, I make the tail a little bit longer just because I like the extra mo momentum in the water. This fly was created in... Um, Ah, geez, I think it was like a southern, southern England to catch um, grayling and uh, trout. It's I, from where I'm from. I'm in Ontario, um, just below Algonquin Park, up in Algonquin. You know, there's a bunch of brook trout. There's brook trout, steelhead, everything around where I am. You know, I find that brook trout. Um, they enjoy these. You know, I like making them again in the streamers. I haven't made them in the dry fly. I don't really fish dry flies. I'll tie them for you guys if you guys really want me to. But yeah, I usually fish nymphs and streamers. But I find with the bead head and with the long tail, this fly is a killer. So let's just get right into this. Um, yeah, so this is um, this is on a size twelve, uh, size ten barbed hook, a streamer hook, with a three point eight millimeter gold tungsten bead. I can tie them in whatever color bead. I find gold really brings out the the shine. I've tied them in orange with like an orange tail, uh, with an orange bead. Um, black with just a normal red tail you know like there's so many pink like there's so many different ways certain fish like certain colors certain times of the day i don't really understand and i'm still learning with all that with the colors and everything i usually just throw something out and the fish always strikes or it doesn't strike you know what i mean but that's just trial and error that's what fly fishing is all about you just got to get out there enjoy test for yourself so anyways yeah let's get right to this um so we'll do the tungsten bead and the fact that this is a streamer i'm going to put some lead wire on it as well because you want to try and put as much weight down as you can this is a really good uh swinging fly you can swing this if you're um spay fisher it can be basically an intruder pattern as well um now the good thing about this fly is that with the tail on the end being a little bit longer than the original red tag it makes it kind of like um if you've ever tied like a, a marabou leech or woolly bugger, any sort of streamer like that, um, the tails just completely flow. They basically breathe in the water when you uh, strip it back or whatever you do with it. So with the long tail, I find it gives it like that snakish. I don't know what they really think this thing is. It's it's honestly an amazing fly. It's one of my favorite flies. I'm going to be using a black uni thread. This is a... 8 slash O, so it's pretty thin, um, although I should be putting on my 3 slash O, but we're just going to do this. So let's start this right at the base, right behind the bead. We'll work our way down. And the fact that we put on the lead wire, if you want to make it all the way, then go right ahead. The more weight, the better. Get your flies right down. For me, you know, I usually, I'll fish these with like a sink tip. So usually it's the, the weight, maybe a full sink line. All depends where I'm at. You know, if I'm in streams and rivers, usually the current will take it down. I'll stick my rod tip in the water a little bit and it'll pull it right into a, a completely different undercurrent or whatever. But yeah, yeah, this is a, it's a good fly. Um, so yeah, okay, so then we'll grab some dubbing. And if you didn't do it the whole way, we're going to get some dubbing, flatten it out make that whole body even very nice everything will be good so for this you guys probably see me use olive a lot this is honestly just my under body dubbing it's just to bulk stuff up it's honestly two dollars and 49 cents for this whole bag 
cheapest stuff in the store that I could find. I don't know why white or black wouldn't be cheaper, but for some reason all of is. But I tie a lot of flies. So, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll get our dubbing on here. And we're just going to cover the whole entire hook and we're going to make it nice and even, nice body. Get some more dubbing on there. More dubbing. Yeah, then we're just going to flatten this all completely out. I am so excited. It is still January here. And I'm sure it's still January where you are as well. But spring is coming. Brook trout season's opening. And everything is going to be well. I'm excited to cast out a few of these. I'm going to be getting a whole box full of these bad boys. Now, it doesn't really matter if you wrap it completely. Because you're going to put the i mean whatever you may be using i honestly the peacock peacock is the way to go you know like the pe like it's the hurls are absolutely amazing they bring out a nice shine for the actual red tag if you're gonna make them smaller for this honestly i love the oh, wherever the hell i put it of Of course, guys, it was right beside me the whole time. But as you see, with a tying bench comes not organization. So anyways, back to the fly. I love using this stuff. It is a dark olive Antron Chenille. So beautiful. It brings it the touch of the fly. It honestly looks exactly like Peacock, if you could see that beautiful it's easy nice strong won't unravel sometimes my peacock breaks every single time i do wraps so annoying so i use this stuff beautiful amazing fantastic so we'll build up some thread here don't have to cover it completely but we will still cover a lot okay and then what we're gonna do is i got red marabou now I have tried like white marabou coloring it red just because, you know, I used to be cheap, didn't want to go to the store all the time, but I picked up some of this. This is ASD Float and Fly in London, Ontario. I don't really like their marabou, honestly, but I love to support small businesses, so it's pretty good. I usually go with the Shore. The Shore is a little bit longer marabou, but for this, you don't really need it all that long. So what we're just going to do is we're going to get the tip here. And you're not going to need all that much. Um, maybe about like an inch. Not even. I'd honestly say about the hook shank length. That's what you're going to make the tail. So I just pull off a piece of uh, marabou here. You're only going to honestly measure it about the hook. And tie it right at the back there. I love this fly. It's such like a, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I'm just in love with this fly completely. My favorite fly, easy to tie. Besides nymphs, I'm just getting into the whole Euro nymphing thing right now. And I noticed that it's starting to kind of take over the whole fly fishing game. I love it. But honestly, I can never turn down a good day of streamer fishing. Streamer fishing is the way to go, and it's so much fun. So we're just going to tie that right in, like so. If you can see that very well. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, then we're going to grab your peacock, or you're going to grab your chenille. Honestly, and if you're going to do a peacock, 
in my honest opinion, I'd get some green craft wire just so that, you know, that hurl won't break and, you know, come undone or whatever it does best. So we're just going to get a nice little chunker here, maybe about three inches, two inches, double the hook shank. We're going to pull off a little bit on the, off the end. So you got kind of a bit of a little knob to tie in there. Bring the thread to the back here. Then we're just going to tie it right on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for friggin' brook trout fishing this year. It's going to be a hoot. There we go. Then we're just going to wrap it right up to the bead. And you could just do your wraps right over top if it's the chenille. Usually the peacock, I just leave the peacock, but I do some wraps over this chenille to kind of, it's very um, bushy. So I like to kind of get it down a little bit. So it's not as bushy. Just like that. fantastic okay awesome great perfect amazing for this i'm using rooster cape cape poor thing it was one of my family's members roosters so hey it works i just dried her on out free cape friggin awesome some nice feathers there usually i go with a brown honestly i went and i started shopping with my eyes I took some, um, I bought some Indian henback, if you know what that looks like. It's, uh, here's the actual bag. It's okay. I honestly just bought half the store. Didn't really know what I'd use that for. I just bought it. I don't know why. Stupidest thing ever. But. For this, I'm going to use longer feathers, just because it's way easier. If you have brown feathers that are long like this, then go with that. Don't use the snubby ones. Although, I do tie some with the snubby ones, and it, it makes it more of a a chunkier, like, it's got it's got thicker fibers, right? So, I, I love it with the thicker fibers, but for this video, I'm going to be using one of these. And this is, like, the brownest feather I got right now. It's kind of a whitish tinge to it. I'll try and pick out the brownest one that I got, though. Just because you want it... You want it brown, shoot. Yeah, you want the the collar wrap to be uh, brown. Brown and bushy. So I'm just going to take a nice little one-two snap from the base there. Pull out a little bit. So you got a nice little notch to tie in there. Give her a a little one, two, three, four, five, six wrap. Take a snap. And then you're just going to wrap her. Wrap her around and push back. So in a way, this is kind of just a, a more of a variation of the woolly bugger. It's like a woolly bugger and a red tag variation that honestly, like, I didn't search it up on the internet to find out. I, I was, like, looking up and trying to find out how to tie this uh, red tag pattern that I was hearing about. And all of a sudden, I was like, I tied one. And I was like, honestly, what if it had a bead head on it? I was like, that'd be sick. I searched it up, did it, and I was like, nah. I was like, what if it had a longer tail on it? I was like, yeah, that'd be sick. Tie some on there. Get some nice wraps in there. Just to bulk it up to push it back. These fibers are a little long. But they will still do the trick.
Get a nice built up collar there. Push these feathers back. Just so it's like that. Look how pretty that fly is. It's beautiful. It's a nice little streamer wet fly. She works so perfect for brook trout. So nice for bass. Perfect swinging fly. You can even dead drift it like a nymph. All sorts of awesome stuff. This fly is where it's at. I encourage you right now to tie this. Fill your box with this fly. You will catch a lot of fish. So guys, thank you so much for, for tuning in this video. Actually, I'm not even quite done yet. What am I saying? So let's tie this off here. And then we're going to throw on some head cement. But I still might as well say it. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. And if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, make sure you do so. There are going to be amazing videos being uploaded this year. Some awesome stuff. Hit the notification button so you guys can stay in tune with all my tying tutorials. All my fishing videos that are going to be posted. My how-to series that's coming up. All different kinds of flies. I tie all different kinds of flies. From top water to beautiful pike flies. To nymphs to all sorts of stuff. Streamers. Beautiful. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take a snip there. Snip it right off. Grab some of that nice, beautiful head cement there. This stuff, make sure you do not spill this. Spilt a whole bottle of black head cement all over my carpet. Huge stain. I don't even know what to do. I just put the couch over top of it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. <sighs> That's the way to do it. Okay. She's all head cemented up. Now she's just got time to time to dry. And now, I really hope, guys, you enjoyed this video. Click the like. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And drop a comment below. I would love to hear you guys' suggestions, your opinions on this video. Share this video. You know, do all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Thanks.